Today I'm going to head into Barnes & Noble. I do have a return that I need to do. Um, I actually bought an item that I already had in the collection. So I'm going to return that and then I'm also going to check out some of their new releases um, for some titles that just came out and some that I wasn't able to pick up last time. Hopefully I'll be able to find the titles that I really want to get. So I'm going to go check out some of these, see if there's anything new that's on the shelf. I do know that um, I've been looking at some new releases that are coming out, but I'm just going to thumb through all of these, maybe give you a chance to see some of these different titles. There's High and Low that James recommended. Badlands is good. Cooley High is another one that I want to get eventually. I really enjoyed Badlands. I need to check out Inland Empire. Inland Empire. Memories of Murder is great. The Watermelon Woman, I think I'm going to wait on that one. Chili Scenes of Winter, that's one I definitely want to pick up. Lady Snowblood, I've already got. Fear and Loathing, I already have. I do eventually want to pick up this box set, but I don't like it when they spider wrap them. Virgin Suicides, I've got that on, on Blu-ray already. I'm not going to upgrade to 4K. Three Ten to Yuma is a good one. Triangle of Sadness I picked up last time. Love Jones is a good one. All that heaven allow all that heaven allows is another good one. Targets is one that I'm looking for. I might pick that one up. Deep cover I've already got. Barry Lyndon I've already got. Love Jones I already have. Come and see I already have. Flight of the Phoenix is a good one that I've already got in the collection. Definitely going to pick up The Servant. I've heard a lot of good things about that. The Brood. So I'm back from my trip to Barnes & Noble. I was very happy to meet up with James. Um, had a nice little conversation with him. We were able to go through some of the Criterion collection and um, helped each other out with some of the titles that we would recommend. So some of these are from um, some of these are from James's recommendation. Um, first up, I did buy. Um, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I got nine titles. So first up, I got After Hours. I've heard a lot of great things about this one, and I wanted to check it out. I think this right here would be a great one to have in the collection. I'm not very familiar with it other than a lot of people talk about how good it is. So I'm very happy to have that one in the collection. And then one of the recommendations that Al gave me last week from the Criterion Corner during our conversation is In a Lonely Place. So I was able to pick this one up, starring Humphrey Bogart. Gets really great reviews. So happy to have this one. Another one of Al's recommendation is Personal Shopper. Um, looking forward to checking this one out. I've all, this has been in my um, wish list for a while. I never did pick it up. I wasn't really sure what I would think about it, but after Al's recommendation, I thought that would be a good one. Now, another um, subscriber had mentioned The Thin Red Line. So I went ahead and picked this one up. So here's a Terrence Malick film. Never seen it. I do like a good, I guess, a war film. And so hopefully this right here will be something that I will enjoy. Next up is another one that people have been talking about, and that is Targets. I'm not very familiar with this one. It's got Boris Kar um, Karloff in it. I've heard different things, different mixed reviews about this one, so I'm definitely wanting to check this one out. And then next up, I have... Um, I, I guess this right here is one that was one that I saw on the shelf. I asked James about it. He said, yeah, that this right here would probably be a good one. And that is The Magnificent Ambersons. 
and I don't know. I, I looked it up. It is a silent film from what I remember from 1942 and it's got a really nice digipack style packaging. So I got that one. Another one that people have been talking about is The Servant. And this right here was another James recommendation or that he had seen it. And here's the back of that from 1963. And then one that a lot of people have been talking about, um, Vin from Hard Copy Blues gave it some really good reviews as far as his top 10 here recently, or top three maybe. And that is Chili Scenes of Winter. So really looking forward to checking this one out. It does get really great reviews. This right here is from 1979. And then the last one that I got, I think might have been another one that James might have recommended. And that is High and Low. I'm not really familiar with this one. Um, yeah, definitely this right here was one that James had recommended. So definitely looking forward to checking this one out. So very happy that I was able to get all of these titles. Um, there is one more trip that I want to do to Barnes & Noble um, to get some things that haven't been released yet that I've had my eye on. And I really do want to be able to pick those up. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular pickups. Let me know some if you've seen any of these titles and what you think about them. And also please give me some more of your recommendations before this Criterion sale is over with. I really do appreciate your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram. Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.